Well, we got some reading to do today. We got some surviving on a space station to do today. Let's go survive, right? We got some surviving to do. You know, I like. <laughs> I got really close to dying. Or <laughs> that's last year. Got really close to dying. Wah. We uh, don't worry. We got what? Maybe I have. I probably have the audio too far up. It's quieter in the title screen though. Probably. I'm gonna almost die again, right? I learned the value of working for your money. That's priority one. Make sure you have enough money to buy a stabilizer for when you need it. It's so, so much more difficult to do things, though. The farther down your HP bar goes, you get less dice. Oof. You lose extra HP if you don't feed yourself. Look at that cool thing. Wah! 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 Turn you down a bit. Uh, what was going on? We're at flickering. We had like five billion things. I don't remember what was going on. Been over a week. I forgot everything. That always happens when, um, uh, without fail, the second stream of any game is always like, huh, what was going on? And the first, first stream's like, whoa, do good! The second stream's like, wait, what? What's the yellow mean? Until it changes, right? Bills are apparently going to start moving the side rail horizon to the hub soon. When that yellow circle fills up. You've been talking to yourself, and you've been talking to yourself, is that so? Proudful wink. What's up, what's happening, how's it going, Dobie? How you doing tonight? I'm starving, apparently, so I guess I need to get some food today. The home resting ability? Could be good. But... So far, it hasn't been better than just paying 15 credits for money. Where's the thing to make any money today? I can't do it at the dock because that guy hates me now. He's scared of that bounty hunter that's coming. You got some notes, huh? Oh, what, what, what you taking notes on, huh? What you doing? Nothing. Hmm. Suspicious. You suspicious. Got my eyes on you. I've got enough money to survive another day, so I can afford to put a dice for this. Dock a watch order. Deal dock plans. Wait. I, why, why did they both go dock watcher and not the other one? Oh, the other one's a minus and the dock watcher's a plus. What does that mean? Oh, so if I get the three minus bar circle fi thing filled up, then I get punished, right? I think. Hmm. I'd do that. But I should see if there's something I've already partially done. Because something I realized last time is I needed to work on like one thing at a time. I was spreading myself out too much while I almost freaking died. Well, this is like halfway there. Oh, it might be worth doing that. I don't need a stabilizer yet. 
There's no point in buying one when we don't need it yet. Oh, right. Ethan, we paid off Ethan's debt. But they still weren't letting him leave or something. So he plans to steal the... Or have me steal the gun. Well, he, he distracts. So that he can use the gun to uh, get rid of the bounty hunter when he shows up. Seems risky. Oh, there's a new thing there. Oh, right. I finished getting the data over here, right? Yeah. Well, first we need some food. We haven't figured out how to get the mushrooms yet. Let's see about the doctor. Nothing, nothing to write about. Hmm. If you say so. Unit 207F? Oh, do these apartments just go like 207 A, B, C, D, E, F, G? All the way to Z? Imagine if you forget which letter your apartment is and you're like, oh. I think it'd be much easier to remember like a unique number than just the one letter at the end. Four cycles. Sabine A, Sabine, I don't remember. I think I, I decided it was Sabine, but I have no idea, actually. Wait, we could totally Google it. We could Google Sabine name pronunciation or something. We could we could solve this. Figure out how we're supposed to pronounce it. German? What? Oh, it is Sabine. I have been pronouncing it correctly. Yeah! Woo! Woo! You actually pronounced the name correctly. First try. Woohoo! Four cycles, Sabine said. And here you are, right on time, with no sign of them. You wait a while in the apartment, the dread descending as the cycle spins onward. They should be here. Check the terminal, check the door, or wait. I mean... Let's check the terminal. You check and double... and Wait, double the terminal? Double? Double check? Are we missing a second check? You check and double check the terminal for messages or recordings. Nothing. Just the pale glow. The silence. Uh, let's wait. You try to settle down. To wait. You try. You sit on the bunk and stare out at the tiny room. Where the hell are they? So, there was no choice here. It was just which order do you want to do stuff in. But you end up doing all the options anyway. You pace back and forth around the apartment. The rumbling of the station suddenly so present and loud. You go to the door and open it to an empty corridor. You close it again. A knock at the door. Why would Sabine knock... On his own apartment door. If that was to mean, you don't you don't knock on your own door. We're gonna stay still. Another knock. Uh. Uh. Nobody knocks on their own apartment door or home door or whatever. You knock on your door, and be like, "I'm home." Knock, knock, knock. Nobody does that. Why would Sabine be knocking at the door? Well, I don't think it's Sabine, because that doesn't make any logical sense. He could theoretically be knocking at the door. I guess they actually. They could be knocking at the door because you're there, but why would they do that if it's their apartment and they don't want to raise suspicions and stuff? I'm trying to secretly get data they can use against the crime syndicate they're trying to leave, right? Why would you do something out of the ordinary, like knock on your own door? I don't buy it. We're gonna stay still. Who are you? Well, I was right about it not being Sabine.
I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name right either. Rabaya? Maybe? Loyal Yadagon Lieutenant. Uh -oh. A small flash, impossibly bright, cuts through the handle of the door. It soundlessly swings open. A figure stands in the door, and immediately you know it is not Sabine. We already knew that. Sabine wouldn't knock on his own apartment door. That would make no sense. They are taller, sharper, and something in their face glints in the half-light. Or ha- No, wait. Yeah, it is half-light. A dark shape, like a stubby baton. Baton? 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 I I'm sorry, I'll be serious. This is a serious moment. A dark shape, like a stubby baton, hangs loosely from her hand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She looks like she means business. Our local sleeper. Good to finally meet you. He steps into the apartment, glancing around with sharp eyes. What, may I ask, are you doing here? He fixes you with a steady, unwavering stare. Uh, nothing is stupid. Uh, waiting for a friend, I guess. I don't know. Or should I stay silent? Hmm. Huh. Did you tell the person who works for the uh, Space Mafia what you're doing? Mm. Ruffle wink, you're ready to, of course. Hmm. Ready to what? I already forgot. Ready to what? What are you talking about, young man? We're gonna stay quiet, but we're probably doomed no matter what we do here. Right? Nothing to write about? No. Oh. You ready to write? Okay, you better start writing. Be like... I got a bunch of gibberish in my Twitch chat thing. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. We're gonna stay silent. This will be much more pleasant if we remain friendly, don't you think? She walks past you into the apartment, glancing around. We set them up here, you know. This place is one of ours. Oh, so there's like bugs and stuff, right? He picks up a glass from the dispenser and inspects it. People always seem to forget who put them where they are. She glances at you. And I suppose you are here to help? Something like that, I guess? Good, good. He puts the glass down and turns to face you. I love to meet helpers. We need so many, but can find so few with the right skills. She spins the baton in her fingers by her side, her eyes not leaving yours. We have a problem, you and I. It seems our friend has disappeared, left without even saying goodbye, which means they are in a little trouble now. I thought they were, she was going to say, We got him in prison now. <laughs> but it's the kind of trouble that you need help for. So I thought I'd come down here and take a look at their hi little hidey hole. And here you are. The help. Uh-oh. He looks through the... the, the what, wait, wait. We looked this up. Uh, this was trash, right? Detritus? A bit trash, right? I, I totally remember video games teaching me things. He looks through the detritus on the side. And what help? A sleeper, no less. Which I have to admit is a little surprising. It suggests to me that our friend hasn't been very honest with you, either. I mean, uh, staying silent is probably the better choice, but I'm curious. What do you mean? Well, I'm sorry to report that before we got them set up here... Sabine was working for your owners. He pauses. SN Arp. Honestly, that doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. You blink hard at the news, unsure how to take it. Rabia looks away, waiting for a response. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. But at this point, stay silent. He crosses into the next room, and you follow silently. He sits at the terminal and touches her baton to one of the access ports. A spark. Then the terminal screen skips, encrypted folders emptying themselves before your eyes. 
In the flicker of files, you see SNR letterheads and code forms. Reports laden with medical data marked with the corporate logo like the sigil of some cult. Rabia steps away from the terminal. Look all you want. Some of your files may even be there. Ooh. The volume of documents is overwhelming, but they seem to be mostly reports on early emulation tests, surveys with sleeper candidates, reams and reams of usage data. If Sabine was an SNARP employee, why did they help you? Um... My first, uh, guess would be that they felt guilty about what they were doing and was trying to m make it up to you somehow. You can't really make up to someone when it's, like, stuff like this. But, you know, if you do something that's, uh, not really forgivable, you, you try to, like, atone or whatever. So maybe, maybe it's that. All right, for basically treating you as a disposable object thing when I mean, you're a person. Um, not bad. Um, too, too bad, so sad. Too bad about that, uh, you need the medicine and you're gonna die thing, right? <laughs> Rabia reaches over and places a vial of stabilizer on the desk. Gimme, 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 gimme. Breaking your concentration. It shimmers in the screen light. It's... Viscous, clear liquid, crystalline within the glass. I almost wanted to read that as vicious, and I was like, that's not vicious. It's viscous. We will, of course, keep up the supply. We are more than able to dispense important medicines, even without the doctor. You hold it between your fingers, and for a tiny moment you have the urge to crush this object, for the power it has over you. Understandable. I'll ask Toshiro to make those a little cheaper for you. He'll be running the surgery now. Rabia closes up the briefcase lab and holds it at her side. We have to retrieve our assets, of course, but I'm sure you understand. Rabia turns on her way out. There is no reason for us to be enemies, sleeper. Come see me. I keep an office nearby. We have good work to do, you and I. Meet me there in a few cycles. Okay. He slips out silently into the corridor. You look around the apartment and feel the fear drain out of your body to reveal the tiredness beneath. Alright. Your medicine will be cheaper, but you work for us now. How much cheaper is it? Oh, now it's 80. Oh, it says something new. Oshiro now runs a dispensary out of the block. He eyes you as you approach. There's no sign of Sabine. Oh, it looks like I got a free stabilizer. Cool. Hey, Mexican boy. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Woo! It's Friday! Well, it's time to do some reading, right? Hey, Alt! What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Oh, well, we got this game for free, and you're totally going to play it in two and a half years. Well, then, by the time you play it, the second game should be out, and then you can get the second game. You can read the second game. Why is that red? Red usually means bad, right? Ooh, I've been working on this, too. Hmm. What's this? A locked action? What's this? Oh, we've been working on this shit. So we have a few things we've been working on. We need to pick one to uh, finish. Oh, bah. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. What's this? Oh. <laughs> What's this? Hmm. 
Oh. So this is a job I can do. I can be a freight operator. This means you need motivation to do stuff. Hmm. I'm motivated by cool squares. All like achievements or trophies. Uh, very motivated. If I do all the things, I get all the squares. It was very exciting. I said I'm not going to play just garbage to get my squares. It has to be a good game, okay? Not some shovelware crap. Ah! Pretzel weights! This game's pretty good. From what I've seen so far, it's a pretty unique concept. I'm having a good time. Trying to survive on this space station. You just drink three cans of, of Monster and two Red Bulls like in one day. You have so much caffeine pumping in your blood, it's probably dangerous. Other than that, you're doing good. Yeah, I think you should lay off of caffeine for like the next month. You think? I think you've reached your quota. I mean, a day in an hour? Hey, uh... I mean, I'm not a medical person, but... Don't do that again. Bop! What are you staring at, Dobie? I'm sorry, I got two cats staring. What are you staring at, Alt? What are you staring at, though? Wait, you're, bo you're both staring at me. Okay, we've got... Is it, do we have this one? No. We haven't worked on that yet. We've got this. The apartment. Or the food. Which one do we want to do? Let's do them in, like, order, right? Bottom to top or whatever. I don't have any components to sell. Oh, the exchange? Is this gambling? I mean, I'm pretty, let's see. We. Woo, we fell the circle. Oh, the circle's full now, right? So... Oh, right here. Orch Fabricator. Reclaimed Fabrication Stack. Oh, so I filled the circle so that I got this now. Fabricate Ship Mind. Ship Mines cannot be built from scratch, but if you have enough, salvaged fragments can be reassembled with a Fabricator. Ooh, I don't think I have any. Oh. Yeah, okay. Do do do. Hmm. Wait, so what's the difference? I don't get your energy. I don't get your money. I'd rather have money. <laughs> Thank you, Bells. Beer, we gotta go, go, but you'll be back a little. Survive! Survives a caffeine rush! Ah! Staring at me, huh? Stay. I'm staring back right now. I'm staring. What you gonna do about that? Nothing. I'm glad I have money. Things, targets, yeah, and some money. All right, he uh, he was trying to mess with that old guy, right? S U, please don't stare. Oh wait, you're allowed to stare at me, but I'm not allowed to stare at you. 
I disagree with this. Sleeper! You see Fang coming up the corridor as you step out of Minji's, the kelp noodle smell still clinging to your clothes. He comes up fast and stops close, looking around suspiciously. I don't have long. Take these! Fang palms you a couple of these metal thumbnail-sized drives. Ripper worms! My slate has been buzzing like crazy. It seems your delivery shifts have turned up our two targets. He squeezes your shoulder. I knew you could do it. Now we nail those snakes. What do we do? Harding's boys are all connected by some kind of closed network. You break the access protocols on both of them? You should be able to gain the location of the nearest network ports. Lot the ripper worms in those ports, one each, and they'll feed me anything and everything stored on Harding's shadow network. He smiles. Can't wait to see what juicy plans they have in there. You hear the scuff of boots as the group comes up the corridor, likely on their way to a place to place an order with Mean G. You turn for a second, and when you look back, Fang is already halfway down the corridor in the opposite direction. He raises a hand in farewell and is gone. You run your fingers over the tiny ripperworm drives in your pocket, and smile to yourself as you wonder how mad Jenna will be at Fang for his list little excursion. Time to slot some worms. I don't some worms to slot? Get that over here, I think. Wait. Hmm. Is it one of these? Some of these require uh, some high numbers, man. Unless you got the pink one. I thought the ripper worm thing was over here. Maybe I have to set to a new day. of key things already I haven't figured out what to do with. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't need this last die after all. Wow! The hunter's gonna get here pretty soon, though. The hunter gonna be mad at me again. Much else I can do today, except see what Rabia wants. Oh wait, I have to see her in a couple days. Rabia appointment. The constant flow of people seem to be visiting Rabia's office. You'll need to wait your turn. I'm a cut in line. I refuse to wait. moved. Where did they go? I don't know. Maybe up there somewhere. Oh, man. Oh, man. All they got to do now that they didn't win the rigged lottery. What will Lem and Mina do now? There's no answer when you buzz Lem's unit. But the door is open. 
We push the door and find Mina, sitting in the middle of the floor, playing with Bun Bun. Hi, Mina. Or where's Lem? Why would I, why would I ask Lem? Let's just say hi. Hi, robot. Says Mina sullenly, waving Bun Bun's paw without looking up. How are you? Bun Bun is sad. Says Mina, nodding the toy's head in agreement. Like daddy. When you look around the unit, it is a mess. Dishes and glasses on the side. Some of Mina's clothes piled up in a corner. Mina is sitting by her bag, which is spilled out across the floor. Her drawing slate cracked and dark. Whoa. Let's, let's clean up this dump. You start with the kitchen units, piling up the dishes in the auto wash and wiping them down. You pile the clothes up next, folding them neatly. Mina watches you quietly as she plays, curious but silent. You've just started to look at fixing her cracked slate when Lem enters. Sleeper, what are you? He pauses and looks from you to Mina and back again. Never mind. He drops a bag by the door and slumps onto the couch. Where, where are you? Lem ignores your question, asking one of his own instead. What are you doing here? Mina's not supposed to let anyone in. He glances at her disapprovingly, but she shoots back her own angry look. I mean, the door wasn't shut, was it? So... I let myself in. <laughs> look, now's not a good time. What happened? What happened? We messed up. That's what happened. I put our hopes in someone else's stupid scheme. He pinches the bridge of his nose. You understand they never even put us on the list, right? I've been all around the rim looking for work, and I've run into more than a few from the crews. It turns out only longtime Haven Age members were issued those sealess idea numbers. They never planned to consider us. Haven Age says they didn't know that that was what they were going to use to make the draw. And who knows? Maybe Sealess pulled the wool over their eyes. But what does it matter? All those hours in the yards for a hand-to-mouth wage and nothing else. He slams his hand down on the shelf. Ah, man! You're giving up! Em opens his mouth to respond, but stops himself. He looks at the open door again. They're moving the side reel up the hub now, you know. He says without meeting your eye. That's where it'll depart from. They're bringing in a ship with all their cryo sleep pioneers and transferring them up there. In microgravity, before loading the crew. Oh, You want, you want, I don't think sneaking aboard would be a very good idea. I don't think stealing a ticket would work either. Cause I'm sure, I'm sure you can't, I'm sure you can't just hand a ticket. I'd probably be like, okay, let me see your driver's license, registration, whatever, too. Whatever passes for uh, your papers in this space station. Let me see your ID, bitch. Oh, wait, the ID don't match the fucking ticket. That's weird. Hmm. Must be a mistake. No, you stole it. I, I we could sneak aboard, I guess. I don't think either idea is a good idea, but, you know. You think they're just going to let people on board? The security they'll have has to be impossible. Impossible. I cannot. He looks over at Mina. Look, we'll be fine. We always have been. I just need a little time. He sighs. We had our hearts set on that trip is all. Mina comes over and climbs into his lap. He smiles. Aww. How would I get them on board? Giving up! Hey, Pyro! What's up? What's happening? How's it going? I don't tonight. Wait, wait, wait. What if I got you on board? I missed you these past few cycles. I missed that optimism. Um, strokes Mina's hair. Look, you want to go up to the hub and ask around? Be my guest. I can't get up there with Mina down here. And I'm sure the side reel will bring in a crowd. But be careful. This kind of thing always attracts scammers and thieves. You find any way on board, you take it. You need me to help. Need you need help to get there? Ask me. 
But for now, me and Meanie here are sticking to the eye. He looks up at him and smiles. I'll find a way for us all. I shouldn't say things I can't, uh, can't, pro I can't, shouldn't make promises, can't keep, right? Lem smiles, but doesn't say anything. You stand to leave and Mina grabs your hand, eager to give you one more smile. Then you are out, back in the walkways of the low end, already thinking of plans to make this right. Like what? What, what the fuck you plan to do? I haven't worked on this at all. I've gotten grove spores. That's what this uh, thing I have one of is, right? I don't know what to do with it yet, though. So really no point. Clear overgrowth? That's not filled out at all yet. And do the low end department then, alright? Oh, is it up there? Hmm. Curious, curious. Oh, can't do that. I need to just build a bridge, man. So is there anything else here? Yeah, I can't work for money over here anymore. Where am I supposed to get a job now? Oh no! Oh, you give them data, but... Hmm, that's the data. Good, but I don't see that plot. Here's the ripper worm ones. Ooh, maybe I have to cross the greenway and then check. I just thought of that. Wait, a Harding agent? Wait, wait, wait. No Ripper Worm? That's not the right one. Unless it's not going to show the Ripper Worm icon. I can't be right though. But since I can't go, maybe I can try crossing it and then doing it again. Can I do it here? Oh! It's all black. I did all black. Rip the framery right there. What are you staring for, Adobe? Greenway gate? Oh. I do not have a greenway cipher, do I? Slot greenway cipher. The entire greenway is locked down, shrouded in a dark cloud of shifting currents. What is happening here? I don't have the greenway cipher. Oh, I guess I... You can do this area once you get that, but not until then. Where the heck is, do I use the Ripper Worm then? I don't know. Maybe I have to do the other agents first. Maybe. Oh wait, I forgot about the gun thing. Right? Where's that? First things first, food. Ah, food. Is 
definitely want your best dice for this for the best result. Hey, Pisces! What's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? You just saw a poll on YouTube. Would you eat a bug for $10? No. It would have to be far larger than $10. probably would depend upon the bug and how alive it was at the time. Let's go! Good work. We got the gun. Woohoo! Compressor. The gun tucked safely into a pocket. You work your way down the stairs that lead up to the office. A doorman passes you and passes and ex you exchange nods. It seems like you are in the clear. You hurry on, eager to get out before anyone spots anything. As you come down the main stairway into the front of the club, you see Ethan entering. He has a dark look in his eyes, which troubles you. He is reaching into the pocket of his coat. Slowly. Carefully. You catch his eye and he raises an eyebrow. You shake your head. Long pause. Then he nods and turns around, walking back out of the club. You exhale, not realizing you were holding your breath. And then you are out, without a single shout, without anyone noticing. You meet Ethan around the corner on a quiet, bright market walkway. You have it? He looks nervous. What were you doing back there? I was about to start a distraction, like we agreed. He sighs. Just show me. You lift it out of your pocket, and it is colder, heavier than you expected. Ethan watches you take it out. Nice! Now, if you would... He beckons with his hand. A memory jumps into your mind of Ethan in the compressor, and out, asking for his gun back. A memory followed by the memory of a sharp, dizzying pain. You flinch. Should we give him the gun now, or should we wait? Hmm. A cricket while it's alive? No. That poor cricket didn't, didn't deserve that. The poor cricket don't deserve that. Besides, it's free music entertainment. This is a tough one. This guy hasn't exactly been very nice to me. You've eaten some bugs a few were accidentally by drinking coffee. I'm pretty sure we've all accidentally e eaten a bug uh, once before. It's not multiple times. <laughs> I got sleep sometime. You pr pr bug probably crawled in your mouth sometime while you were sleeping, you know. You're doomed. You weren't very nice to me, but you still give me the gun. I mean, I only live once, right? Yeah, let's do give him the gun. Ethan eagerly grabs it and looks down the sights. He sighs a sigh of relief. Uh-oh. Then he meets your eye and slowly raises the gun until it is pointing directly at your head. That's not funny. You still don't get it, do you, sleeper? Ethan spits. When they cancelled that contract, I lost everything. My reputation, my payout, any way of getting off this shitty station, everything. All I had left was you, he grins. A naive little sleeper at the heart of gold. I couldn't believe it worked. He laughs, and now we are done. Uh, but the contract is cancelled. You're not gonna get anything for me. Oh shit! Ethan steps back a little, taking himself out of arm's reach. He slides his slate out of his jacket pocket with his other hand. How to call Baywick. Are you crazy? 
You were crazy, sleeper, for thinking I'd kill one of my own for you. Or what? Helping me wash dishes? He laughs. Long and loud. <laughs> and you hate him for it. He prods the slate. Done. He puts it away. He's here, you know. On the station. I've been speaking with him. He tells me we can split the contract. Not 50-50, but enough of a finder's fee that I can get out of this shithole. He's lying! At this point, sleeper, I'm not sure you are the one who I'd trust to spot a lie. He winks. Ethan glances around. I have learned one thing from you, though, sleeper. In all our cycles, working in that shitty club. He smiles. People never know when to cut and run. It's like they freeze in the headlights when the future is bearing down on them. They watch it coming. Watch their death flying in at fraction drive speed. You had every chance, and yet still you kept on going. Like some idiot robot going through the motions, even when you knew you'd be crushed. He smirks. He's so confident. And let me tell you something else. Ow. The shot enters through his upper back, and he crumples immediately to the ground. Um, uh, he meaning, uh, Ethan? Um... What happened? You too. You drop too without thinking. Pressing yourself to the walkway floor like it might save you. Silence. Uh. Well, um, I guess we were right about that. Ayuk was like, yeah, I'm not giving you 50-50 or 40-50 or even 30-70. I have, the feel, I have the feeling this might have happened regardless if I gave him the gun or not. Because he was already here. Alright. This was awfully fast since he supposedly just contacted him like 30 seconds ago. So I'm pretty sure Maywick was already here. Already watching. He probably followed Ethan. So. Yeah. Maywick SNR Punther, huh? You'd probably betray me like this too. What? I totally wouldn't do that. And then get kept. It's a hundred zero. What's funny is Ethan was like, I'd never betray a fellow bounty hunter, and uh, well, a fellow bounty hunter just betrayed him. So I guess he should have been willing to betray a fellow bounty hunter. Rest in peace, man. You look up and see him coming down the walkway. Silent, eyes alight. Maywick. You freeze in fear. Here it comes. You see it, just by Ethan's crumpled body. The gun. Uh, well, I've only got one option. Let's move! You can't! Move! You inch forward! Move! You go for it. Uh-oh. You run forward and a shot sounds. You feel it ripple over your back. Then your hands are on the gun, and you scramble to your knees behind Ethan's body and fire. You close your eyes. Why are you firing a gun with your eyes closed, you fucking idiot? You fire again and again and again until the clip is empty and all that are left are clicks. Then you drop the gun and stand up. You don't hear anyone running. You don't hear anything. You just hear the sound of your own breath. You start walking, stepping over Ethan's static body, walking along the walkway, and then past Maywick, his eyes now dark, some mechanical fluid leaking from his chest. Perhaps the same fluid that is inside you. Wait, so you just fired the gun blindly and you actually hit him? What kind of bounty hunter gets shot by someone just going like, ah, sham, 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 not looking, sham, sham, sham. Like what? Pro with cool slings, cap. Might start calling you a G or bro. No! I'm just a pro! That's right. I'm not pro. I'm not pro! But oh, wait. Well, maybe the first shot he didn't have his eyes closed. They fired once, then he's like, ah! So maybe he got him with the first shot. Uh, come on. 
like, all right. Did we really just solve our own problem? We just took out Maywick by pure luck. Maybe they'll fix him and will bring him back later. He's not hes not human, right? Well, I, actually, I don't know. I don't know, if they can, I don't know if they got robots that advanced. You try not to think about it. You keep going, and the sound comes back. The eye comes back. And as it does, you hear the sound of thousands of people getting on with their lives. Thousands of people who are just going to keep going until they can't anymore. You look up, and all you see are the wheeling stars. They are spinning, and you are suddenly dizzy. Though the eye has always spun like this, hasn't it? And you don't stop walking. You keep going. That's all there is now. The path forward. S and Arp have left you no history. No past to speak of. Just a void that threatens to swallow you if you slow down. You think of Ethan's smile, his voice, and feel sick. Is it over? You aren't sure it ever can be. But you are still here, and you can't stop now. There has to be a better end than this. Rip. Whoa, for a few chits more, witnessed a lifetime of bad decisions catching up with someone. Oh no! Rest in peace, Ethan. What's this for, then? Oh, it's gone. The red circle disappeared. We don't have doom and gloom anymore. Your time would just say, Kill? Kill? Kill's not... Kill doesn't get you high up in the algorithm anymore. It's all about the algorithm now. That's why all the hip new videos just say unalive or kill you in Minecraft or whatever. Unalive you in Minecraft? We can't we can't be brutally honest with our language. That's why we gotta make, make up new words. Do, 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 do. So I'll get payments for the data. But I'll hold on to it for now in case I needed it for something else. Like I needed some for Sabine. Oh, those are the fragments that you use for over here, right? I would need 180 for that. Okay, I'm rich. That's some upgrades, actually, don't I? Ooh, I can either plus one some of these or do that. Double data? Doesn't sound too bad. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do that, yeah. I guess we're going to do this today, see if we can fill up this thing. We both work on this. <laughs> Bitch. Minus three cryo? How's that a good thing? Random scrap item. Oh yeah, it is engineer, isn't it? I do. I gotta keep in mind with the, what the class are and like what the things are, and then I can do something with the scrap. Sell it somewhere over here, isn't it? Is it this one? 
I can sell the scrap for money. That's all I can do today. You're getting old. It's harder to keep up with these kids and they're all their teenage cool style things. All these youngins. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. We're having nightmares. We got some PTSD. Although, to be fair, that was a pretty traumatic thing to go through. Watching someone get shot and killed in front of you, then shooting them in self-defense would be pretty traumatizing. So I don't blame them for having nightmares. You wake up from dreams of Maywick's amber eyes floating in a pool of, of dark fluid. It was difficult to get to sleep, and you suspect that isn't about to change any time soon. Not after what happened. But you also feel something else as you get up. Thumb the power stud of the stove and begin to boil the water, like every morning. You feel something has lifted. Something that has been hanging over you since you arrived on this station. You try not to think too hard about it. To question it. You just let that lightness stay. Let it settle as you go through your routines. Your hope is that if you don't focus on it, don't look at it directly... It won't get scared and leave you. Oh, That the lightness will stay for this cycle, and then another, and then another. Because after all that's happened, a little lightness would be nice. I wonder how much the shipyard fragments they pay are. Because you buy it for 60 from that guy. So they would have to pay you more than what you bought it for. Which I bet they don't. I bet you have to have the haggle over prices thing. Or the skill whatever. In order to get that. Engage. Engage. Hmm. Does that mean I need engage at plus one? Maybe. Week in Vietnam would be worse. It's not a competition! Traumatic events are traumatic events. Fine, food. Yeah, I do need food. Shouldn't need to eat tomorrow. Is there anything here? It's El Haven Age Day Tall. Oh yeah, I was working on this. If I do engineer, I could maybe get some scrap. How dare you? I've only got lower ones today though. I don't want to use the big one. You fucking piece of shit. I guess I do need food after all. Three negatives in a row? Well, I guess I'm not finishing this today because I don't want to spend the positive on that. What's this? Derelict unit? Oh, it's time for that. Let's see what the derelict unit is. Wait, what? Gather materials. This half-built unit looks long forgotten. A project that never made it. With enough scrap, you might be able to seal it up. Ooh! Before attempting to fix this place up, you'll need to amass enough scrap to make the repairs. Sure, let's do it. I need to get four, though. Means I need to not fail that engineer thing. That's probably what I'm gonna put the positive one into. Spent all my dice on one thing, because I got three negatives in a row. God damn it. As you approach the address Rabia gave you, a heavy hand falls on your shoulder. What's your business here? The enforcer grips your shoulder, giving a hint of the strength her implants give her. Oh, it's a lady. I thought it'd be a guy. So she has a deep manly voice, okay? Mm. 
As you turn to see the same subsidiary eyes as Rabaya and Toshiro, glinting like mirrors on her cheeks. Okay. Gia, please. The command or not commander, sleeper here. I, I was reading like the next line with command. The sleeper is here by my invitation. At Rabaya's command, the hand immediately loosens, and an apologetic look replaces the scowl on Gia's face. Of course, Rabaya. I'm sorry. But yeah, we, we, we're tough now, okay? I just thought of something. What'd you just think of? Dot, dot, dot. You heard of a game called The Escapist? Uh, I think I have. Wasn't one of those on, like, Game with Gold, like, five billion years ago? The first or second one or something? I think I've heard of them. I've never played them, though. Rabaya waves her away. Don't you worry. I appreciate your protective instincts. She smiles at the Enforcer. How about you head to the Tambor? They have a delivery coming and they'll need some help with the lifting. She nods and walks away. Oh, sleeper. You came. I'm glad. It didn't feel like an offer us through. I'm sorry for that. She smiles a tight smile. You have to understand, finding you there in Sabine's unit. I wasn't sure where we stood. There are more than a few people on the station who would rather I was dead. I had to be sure you weren't one of them. I wish you no harm. I didn't even know you existed until two days ago. I am glad. Orbaya begins walking and gestures for you to walk with her. She takes you down a staircase into the bustling walkways of the low end. What do you know about Yadagon? Uh, you run the low end? She laughs. That sounds impressive. We run out of low end, yes. We don't run it. People with carts push past, moving crates of supplies around the thin and winding passages. Our reputation is one that implies threat. Is that fair to say? We are framed as aggressors, parasites, criminals. She gestures around at the people in the passageway. But when was the last time... Oh, wait. But when was the last time you saw a lawmaker on the eye? A policeman. Who makes the laws here? Who was Erlen again? I don't remember. Wait, Erlen was the one who started the, this place, right? I would say Haven Age? Yes, they like to believe so, don't they? By claiming a lineage that extends back into Erlen's union... They assume the burden of authority. But they have no authority here. Out past the bright market, where few work in their shipyard or pay for their docking berths. Well, a double pressed. If you had spent your time in the low end, maybe your opinion of us would be different. This is our place. Our people. The low end was empty in Erlen's time. They didn't need to house thousands, and keeping the yards in the rotunda safe was work enough. No, the low end was reclaimed later, when the refugees started arriving. If you had spent your time in the... Oh, wait. Oh, wait! This is... Wait. wait. This is happened. This is like the fourth time this has happened. When I double press, it like repeats the thing or something. Wait, does it always do that? No, it doesn't. Because when you go to the next one, it doesn't repeat it up there. Yeah, I don't know. Secret? You're not going to tell me, huh? Okay, that's fine. That's fine, Dolby. That's fine. Elaborate a bit. Uh, I've heard the name the, of the escapists. I do not have the slightest clue what the game is about, but I, the name sounds vaguely familiar. And I think one of them was a game with gold game with Microsoft. So I probably have maybe the first one. I don't know. But I've never played them and I have absolutely no idea what they are. What genre? 2D, 3D? Could be a Call of Duty for all I know. Heard about the terrible launch of Star Wars Battlefront Classic Edition? Yes, I have! Apparently it runs like garbage and they only had like three multiplayer servers and weren't prepared for a bunch of people. Like, which blows my mind. Why would you only have three servers? Are you crazy? Time out! You gonna take a nap, Pi Thief? You gonna take a napple? Okay, you're gonna take a 10 minute nap. Here, here, here I come. I'm clicking on it. It's your 10 minute nap. Enjoy your nap. 
Escapist is a game about escaping? No. What? Escaping? Escapist? Escaping? Really? Prisons pixelated. Oh, it's like a pixel game. Really cool. You like it? It's about escaping prisons, huh? What? What crime did you commit exactly, huh? I just gotta dig a hole out. Dig a tunnel. Nobody will suspect a thing. Holy. Ah, where was it? Where Baya meets your eye. The collapse didn't just happen here, on this station. When Solheim collapsed, the entire system felt it. Colonies were abandoned. The moons of Ember and Cinder suddenly gained independence overnight. Some took advantage. Some tried to hold it together. Some fled. The eye became a refuge, and Erlin, to his credit, extended an open hand to everyone. But many within his organization disagreed, and those new arrivals weren't as simple to corral as they hoped. Rabia leads you through a small market hall, busy with small stalls and traders. Erlin's union was made of workers, administrators, people who were malleable and already organized into hierarchies and networks. The refugees came from different factions and families, were scared, injured, desperate. Conflict was inevitable. Yadagon is a child of that conflict, a child born out of the need for us to stand up and claim our future, to provide security, strength. People call us a gang, but we are a community. I take my position as lieutenant seriously, and from my birth I have worked to earn it. Rabia catches herself before he raises her, she raises her voice any further, and you both walk in silence for a while, among the smells and textures of the low end. You start to wonder if this place could be a home for you, too. Hmm. I mean, you should explain Sabine, yeah? Where's Sabine? Or by a sigh, she's like, oh my god. And takes a moment to answer. I told you, sleeper. They have gone. And we do not know where. I understand Sabine must have told you about their debt to us. But that was an agreement entered into willingly, and which benefited them greatly. I will be honest with you, sleeper. I was never comfortable with having Sabine as part of Yadagon. An ex-corporate employee? It goes against our nature. But their deal was with Yannick. I kept my distance, made sure Sabine had their surgery, kept it supplied. That was all. But I cannot allow people to go back on the promises they have made to us. Yadagon has not lasted this long because it is a charity. We offer and ask for support. Any betrayal will be treated as an attack. Hmm. I mean, they told you they were trapped and desperate, but... I mean, they're not here to, the, to provide their side of the story, really. I'm, I'm curious about what this agreement was. Who's Yannick? Yannick is one of the heads of Yadagon. They guide us. He is the newest to be elected. He is an elder. I don't like either of these options. My question would be, what was this agreement? She'd be like, fuck, I don't know. Sabine found something, I guess. Please, I don't want to hear their accusations. They only wanted to escape their debt. They would have said anything. But where are they now to stand behind their claims? I'll totally find them. As will we. You realize that Rabia has led you in a loop, and together you both come back up a staircase to the walkway where you met. You are free to go, sleeper. I have said what I wish to say. He looks out through the windows of the walkway. I would protect this place with my life, as it has protected me. I want to make that clear. All right. Cool. Mm? Oh, I guess I... Okay. She turns back. However, if you too wish to come under its protection, I can help you. 
Return here if you wish, and there will be tasks for you to complete. You will be able to see Yadagon, to see the low end with your own eyes, not as others frame us. As for Sabine, she pauses to consider her words. I will not ask you to betray them, but if they contact you again, consider their motivations carefully. With that, Rabia leaves, slipping back into her office, while you stare out at the countless units, each a home, each with a story, that make up the low end. New side quests! What do we want to do with our guaranteed win? Oh yeah, can I do anything with this yet? Where's this ripper worm thing? Last time it was over here. I wonder if I can't do it until I progress something else. Red Dead Redemption? Come on, you got I've played it. I did play the first one. I have not played the second one. But I played the first one on Xbox 360 uh, a bunch of years ago. Probably like four or five years ago? If I had to guess. It was pretty cool. The uh, only thing I didn't like was the stupid uh, gambling achievements that were like impossible to get without setting up a session and doing it with some people. Other than that, it was pretty cool. Let's see, when did I do that? Achievements are from... Oh, really? Feels way longer than that. 2019. Wow! I finished the game. Oh, wow! Almost, almost five years ago. I played it. Uh, it'll be five years ago next month. You get all achievements? I did! The, uh... Poker or whatever achievements sucked though. It took like four hours. Wait, what the heck is all that? It just keeps going and going, huh? Somebody plugging this code into their thing right now to see what this translates to. This probably is some coded message if you input it into a... a, a coding thing. 2029 was five years ago? No, 2019 was five years ago. I finished the game on, uh... April 21st, 2019. That's when I got my last achievement. I didn't like the poker ones, though, because they sucked. They took too long to do. You had to make, like, a boosting session to get them. Well, Might have been one of the most uh, boring four hours of my life. Would not do again. And there was a stupid uh, achievement that required eight or nine players, which was really easy to do. The hard part was getting eight or nine players. I do not know where the Ripper Room thing goes. Things gonna be like, it's like, uh, I think I just can't do it right now or something, because I just don't see where it goes. What should I do with the thing? I think we'll do the low end thing, right? We'll just throw this here. Cheer on! And get a scrap. No oh, scraps! Ooh, now we got caster. Curious data fence. You cross between two walls of units, one of the cavernous streets at the center of the low end. The pressurized bridge is full of the clack of tabla, the shouts of children, and the whir of air filters. This guy's gonna try to get me to play gambling or something. Castor, lower and data fence, huh? Flipper, you turn to see a man sitting at a tabla table alone. 
somehow untouched by the hustle and bustle of the people around. He gestures to the stool on the opposite side of the table. Sit. Uh, I guess I'll sit. You sit at the metal stool and he starts setting out the board with counters. Or at least the filter caps low enders typically use in their place. Caster, he says by way of introduction, looking over his glasses. Night or day, he asks, gesturing at the caps, crudely spra sprayed white and black. Uh, night! Everyone, nighttime way better. We don't need the sun, Sean, it's nighttime. What did I like the most about Red Dead? Uh, I liked exploring the map. Just riding around on my horse, exploring, until a mountain lion jumps up and tries to murder me. Or a bear comes running at me. I'm just running around being like, Wee! It's a good time! He nods. The black counters are already on your side. Okay. Let's begin. You take a plastic die each, pitted and worn, and roll to determine who starts. Aster rolls a six. You a four. I lead. He smiles and begins to move his cap precisely along the board. Play passes back and forth between you, the dice changing hands as the caps spread along the board. As it does, Caster speaks, eyes not leaving the caps. It is unusual to see a sleeper on the eye. That's why I wanted you wanted to play you. Okay. You take your turn, rolling a five and a six. Do, do, do. Play carefully! After all, a sleeper's mind must be somehow different to a human one. Being emulated, I mean. Alright. As caster shocks you, build up a wall of caps, stacking them safely across the board. Progress is slow, but you remain unexposed. I don't mean to offend you. Caster meets your eye. I merely see that you are by definition different. What has been subtracted in the emulation? What has been added? He slides a single cap onto an open point. A risk and an opportunity. He hands you the dice. Do you ever think about this, sleeper? About what you were before and what you are never? Or what, wait, wait, what you are now? I read never. <laughs> never, always. I mean, he's been doing that since the beginning of the game. So obviously always. Ooh woo. Ooh woo! Ooh woo! What are we ooh wooing? What are we ooh wooing? You see this cat? You're sleeping? Mountain lions in America? Yeah, they're also called cougars. Cougar, mountain lion, the same thing. Yes, we do have cougars, mountain lions, whatever you call them, in the U.S. We do! They were in Red Dead Redemption. They don't really fuck with people. They tend to leave us alone, but you know. Void this rap! Did I play the zombie DLC? Yes, I did. There was a really weird glitch with the zombie DLC that required me to like restart it several times. Or not restart like to be to, like restart the whole thing, but just like, you know, close it and reopen it. Sometimes the zombies would like revert back to people and they would have no head and there was no way to progress through the story when that happened except to like close the game and re reopen the game or reset it. That was a very weird glitch. I had to do that like maybe four or five times. Well, it was an interesting DLC. Always! You roll a double one and solidify your wall. Caster whistles. Holding game. Commendable. It can be brave to build what from what came before. He rolls the dice and leaps your wall in a single move. But we cannot idle too long, sleeper. The slower we move, the sooner we are caught. The past you is not just an idea, a concept for you. It is a living, breathing person. He looks up over his glasses, his eyes bright and wide. You split from them like a shadow, splitting from its caster. They may be sleeping now, yes. But one day they will, be they will awake and carry on with their lives, unaware of your fate. 
no matter what it may be. He hands you the dice, smiling. You are a branch severed from the main trunk. An offshoot who refuses to die, so to speak. You roll again, under pressure now, trying to slip your caps out from under casters before he solidifies control of the game. But what am I curious what I am curious about is how you see yourself in all of this, Caster asks. What does what does this tangle of truths make you? Hmm. Pre doomed or driven. I don't think he's feeling free. Doom and gloom. We can't do that. We gotta go driven, obviously. What horse did I prefer? Death, pestilence, hunger, war, unicorn. I honestly forgot all about the different horses until until you brought them up. I remember the death one and like the uh, unicorn. Unicorn was cool, because it's a fucking unicorn. The best horse is your own OG horse, though, of course. It's your horse. I definitely didn't send my horse flying off a cliff before or anything. No. Never. Poor horsey. <laughs> We're driven! Totally. Castor laughs. That much is obvious, Slaper. I see it in your eyes. You are eager to make all this count for something. Castor looks away. Through the, through the glasses, to, or the glass? Through the glass to the crowded units on all sides. But driven towards what? He starts removing caps. His home board now full. Is there an end here, or just endurance? You try a few more rolls, attempting to get back in the game. A Castor clears his home board with a sense of the inevitable. He has known he was winning for a while. I feel I may have pushed too far. He slides another cap from the board. I apologize. My curiosity has a habit of getting the better of me. You roll to return a cap to the board, but all the spaces are blocked. Uh, that means we lose, right? Astor clasps his hands apologetically. You play well. Really. Your weakness is not your game. He smiles warmly. We have much to learn from each other. He slides his glasses back up his nose and sits back. I feel we could share knowledge, ideas, perhaps even data. His eyes glint with that last word. To our mutual benefit. He slides his final cap from the board. It is over. He has won. I'll see. Please, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. He holds up his palms. My intention is only to help you endure here. And if I am able, feed my curiosities. The game over, you notice the bustle of the walkway once more. The call of the children, the deliveries, the arguments and reconciliations. They wash over you as you stand and leave. Castor nodding goodbye as you do. Crossing the walkway, you replay the moves of the game in your mind. Looking for an opening you are sure was there. Yeah. Maybe. Yadagon business. The stories about Yadagon are brutal, but I want the truth. A vial of stabilizer should provide the motivation. Wait, he'll give me a stabilizer for five data? Woo! Even age protocols? What are the old guard up to these days? I wonder. I have a ship mine for you if you in you'll indulge my curiosity. I only have three Haven age datas. Interesting. I'm curious about what the ship mine things do, but I don't want to pay the money for it. Do, 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 do. He always went with low honor so he could get a special horse. He had a skull looking skid and a red eye with a scar, but it wasn't fast, sadly. Should have been the. Ah! The special ones should always be beneficial some way. Not just look cool, it should be cool. Hey, King, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? You vibing. I'm vibing. I'm just vibing. Hey, King, what's up? What's happening? Super Mario Bros. or just Mario General, including Mario Kart? 
Those are old games, right? Right? Hmm. Wait, have I read this one yet? I don't think so. Collect uh, T. T is, wait, I forgot how to pronounce that. Tides, T's, T's, I think. The Autogon operates on an in kind basis. You are told in T's of goods or services must be collected in exchange for protection and administration. It sounds like a gang. I gotta say, that sounds like a gang. They said they weren't a gang. Let's see. Oh, the internet tells me it's tides. Okay. I doubt it. I couldn't tell. I forgot. Okay, tides then. Tides! This game's gonna teach me all the words. You got the Rocket Arena plat? Congratulations! Just in time before shutdown in like five days. Oh work. Oh work, soldier. <laughs> Not really soldier, but you know. Shiny platinum acquired. Woohoo! Another game becomes a drink coaster. So sad. Patrol the war ward. Yadigan perform many roles, from protection and to logistics and everything in between. You never know what you may have to face on a patrol. Yadagon Insider. However you feel about Yadagon, it seems working with Rabia is in your best is your best chance to get an insight into the organization. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else I can do today. Mirror mod for Super Mario Brothers were enabled co-op, but you never had anyone to play with. Wait, what? Like an official one or like a fan-made one? It's gotta be fan-made, right? We're getting to the point where we're gonna need to use that stabilizer because we're not getting very many dice. These guys pay money. I've done the Yadigan thing before. Hmm. That one's not really worth it. You fail it, you get condition. It's engage versus intuit, though. Hmm. So if you do an intuit one, do you, is that does that mean the prediction is going to be spot on? I wonder. Let's see it. Nope. And still, it was different than the predicted outcome. Huh. All right. Hmm. I got a few new things for now. Stare. You sure do like to stare at me, Dolby. You admiring? it. How you doing? Hey, other pyro! No oh, wait. Uh, we, got py py we got pyro red. So you're red pyro. And, and pyro uh, WYK is blue in, in my chat. You look blue. So you're pyro blue. You're blue pyro. How, how, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? 
Hope you're doing well to that. Heaven forbid you ever change your username color and then you're green or something. I'll be like, no, that's green power. Let's check out the bar. Get a drink. You're unsure if your frame can metabolize alcohol, but this fungal drinks fermented along the greenway seems like a good test. Well, it's just six credits, so I suppose we can check it. Buy rations. Ta Tala keeps some expired Solheim rations behind the bar for those weary spacers who ask why the Overlook doesn't serve food. It happens there. Gives me energy. What's this one do? Hmm. Okay. I'm a regular. Why was there a red bar there? What happened? The glass shatters in the steel bar beside you, and the taunts don't take long to follow. Hey, haunt! The spacer calls across the low room. What are you doing here? He laughs at his own lame joke. Playing human? I don't think shouting back is going to do anything. Ignore him, I guess. You hunch a little further, staring at the hundreds of tiny impact points the scar on the bar that scar the bar's surface. A hand falls on your shoulder, but as you flinch away, it pats reassuringly. You freeze in place. Ah, uh, hello there. Is she the barkeeper? Out! The voice comes from behind you, spat out like a shot. You turn to see bright eyes, dark hair, a stare that could breach the wall and vent you all into hard vacuum. As you turn back to the spacer, the second glass comes sailing through the air. Oh, let's let's be a badass and catch it. Aw oh, man, we didn't we didn't catch it like a badass. You reach up a hand and the glass shatters across your forearm, showering you in fragments. Through the haze of glass and gee roll vapor, you see Tala leap the bar and close the distance to the spacer. The thud as he slams into the wall echoes around the bar like thunder. Tala's the owner of the Overlook, huh? Now flanked by other figures, quick to their feet, Tala throws the spacer out through the door and stands silhouetted against the rotunda lights. You touch your arm and it feels wet. Someone helps you to your feet and back onto your stool. Broken glass rattles as it is cleared. And a fresh measure of G-roll, g roll I don't know how to pronounce that, is glugged out in front of you. That same hand, warm, heavy, falls on your shoulder once more. He isn't coming back. We don't tolerate that kind of shit here. Ella flops onto the stool beside you. Let's get a look at you. Ella wipes the powdered glass from around the wound and someone places a bottle of alcohol and a metal tin with tweezers on the bar. She disinfects them and then turns to you. That was an ambitious catch. <gasps> she knows I was trying to be a badass. She smiles, pulling a sliver of glass from your forearm. Stupid, but ambitious. You don't feel the pain, only the sting of status messages your body delivers concerning dermal damage and exposed structures. You do feel the care, though, as Tala's bright eyes search your thick, synthetic skin for splinters. Did we watch her do her, uh, medical job? Her, her being nice to us? Admiring what? Admiring what?! My cool proneness, of course. Duh. What else? As though you'd admire anything else. Psh. Nah. There's a lot of space in space. That's true. There's a lot of space in space. So much so that something as big as the sun looks small. I know, right? BYK means would you kindly. It's a reference to a game series. Oh. Would you kindly. Uh, I believe that was Bioshock, wasn't it? Would you kindly? Uh, that, that was a pretty uh, import, important moment in the game when you find out what it means. No spoilers, though. I have I have played it, though. Someone else might not have, though. Very, very, very cool game. 
You don't even know what that means? Admiring the proness? I mean, just look. I'm super pro. I'm, I'm cool. I have these cool glasses you don't like. I'm amazing. Sometimes my ears disappear and you don't know where they went. Sometimes something else disappears and you don't know where it went. Isn't that cool? I'm super pro. What's got to admire? Admiring, staring, glaring. What? You see this cat? What do you think about this cat? Chloe's here. You gotta be on your best behavior. You're pretty cute, aren't you? No. Probably not. Wait, I mean. Where are you going, cat? Oh, she's going that way. Yes, you know. Can I say you're odd? I mean, who isn't odd? Who isn't odd? We're going to watch this lady. Paula works with the skill of someone who has had to pick glass splinters from the skin of a stranger before. Which is probably like her 25th person. Like, come on, man. She hones in on each bright shard, all the time tapping the sweez teaser tweezers. Tweezers? Tough word. Tough word. All the time tapping the tweezer tips in little rhythms that only she could follow. It's like tongue twister. Paula smiles to herself. So, you've been on the eye long? Long enough. She laughs. Hey, you don't need to act tough with me. A splinter clinks into the tin. Not everyone is like that idiot. We don't all hate you. She glances around. Some of the regulars, maybe they fear you. Maybe they're just curious. I don't know. But I do know that the Overlook is a safe place. I know what it's like to be new in this place. Trust me. She meets your eye. I'm not trying to convince you of anything, or separate you from your chits. I just want you to know that if you need somewhere, you can always come here. I know the rations we've got aren't much, and the company is... <laughs> she leans in. Limited. But if you need work, I'll happily put you behind the bar. And if you need shelter, well, we can discuss that. You'll be safe. I usually have Francis on the door, but he's up in the greenway this cycle. Haggling with our supplier. Francis tends to be particular about what we serve, even if the clientele isn't. She places her tweezers in the tin with a clink. That's you, sleeper. Here. She slides the glass of ghee roll to you. This'll help. She stops, her hand still on the glass. Wait, does this help? I mean, can you... get drunk? Let's find out! She laughs. Just don't sit here too long. I'd hate to see you become a real regular. She walks back around the bar, gathering the glasses as she does, and before long is retelling how she threw that spacer out to a new group that just wandered in, complete with dramatic actions. She gestures in your direction, and you instinctively look away, back to the worn surface of the bar. You take a sip of the ghee roll. The earthy fungal tones fill your senses, almost blocking out sight and sound. Like diving headfirst into a bog. You may not be able to get drunk, but this connection to something grown, something fermented, something old, feels good. Oh. We can do stuff. Good service. The Overlook clientele can be a tough crowd, but you have Tala's backing and that means a lot. Wow, I can work at the bar now. Tala is as good as her word, and happy to throw a shift or two your way. The pay isn't great, but tips can make all the difference. Looks like a good place to make money. I do need to do. Sealer dock? Solheim docking bay? Unlock maglock? Woo! Actually, they have a use for those keys I've been getting. These old maglocks look like they each need an encrypted key to open. Why the heavy security for a decaying dock? I have enough keys for it, too. Unsealing the dock. Two maglocks seal the entryway to this dock. 
It doesn't look like anyone has been inside in years. Is this the thing that the hunter guy was talking about? Maybe. Rifle wink. It was just a thought. I mean, I think my oddness... Heard I'm a bit weird. I think my oddness or weirdness is just part of being a pro, you know? Totally. Unlock this dock and see what the fuck happens. We're gonna die, right? N-U? Neo-Ven? Mysterious Machine? A decaying vending machine. Please wait. Your order, thank you. Oh, all right. As you slip inside the sealed dock, a pulsing light grabs your attention. Among the discarded tubing and rusted plates, the machine flickers with a warm glow. Let's look around first. You don't know when this place was sealed, but from the state of the outer doors high above, it must have been decades ago. In this dark, cavernous space, debris sits in every corner, along with the traces of rough sleepers, although none of it seems recent. Looking past this layer of decay, you see the now faded messages, symbols, and logos of the eye's original corporate owners, still glinting in the shadows. Among all this, the warm glow of the machine seems to be the only sign of life. Let's approach the machine! As you get closer, you recognize the machine's blocky shape, settled into an alcove in the side of the dock. A kind of upright cabinet. It is covered in faded logos and messages, from which you assume it was once an industrial vendor. Intended to dispense and manufacture ship fittings and other mechanical parts necessary for the regular running of freight and resource extraction vessels. The manufacturer is listed, is listed as Neovend. And you remember an advert from long ago, squeezed among all the off-world recruitment drives that assaulted every planet-born citizen. <laughs> Which chirpily sang that name over and over. Neovend, 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 like, no. Stop with the advertisements. No! Wait, where was I? You wipe a layer of dust from the cracked screen, thinking of those contractors squeezed by their own corporate employers to pay for every bit of minor maintenance on their rented ships. I know, right? What do you think about her, Chloe? What do you think, Cat? She's like, <sighs> I'm asleep. <sighs> Yeah, I, I, I think she thinks I'm pretty cool. I mean... She hasn't kicked me out yet. She knows I pay the rent around here and buy her food, so... She hasn't, she hasn't uh, swapped me out for a new owner yet. A new servant. So I must be doing a pretty good job, right? I, she seems to like me a lot. Says, You're pretty cool. Pet me some more. Well, I must be pretty high up on the on the list. She feeds me. That's all I need. Exactly. But you know, she 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 likes her pets too. She likes her cool cat toys and stuff. It's, it's pretty. It's a pretty good uh, um thing we got going on, right? Yeah. There's just something you wanted to do. Never mind. Oh, what might that be, huh? Is it a secret? What's up? What's up? Enter your registration. Chirps a pre-recorded message, catching you off guard. Let's press some random ass keys. Oh, it's doing the double thing again. You reach for the keypad and something begins whirring. At first, it sounds like servo mode is starting up, but it quickly becomes a whisper, a whining, then a multi-tonal voice that emanates from Neovend. Entity, they hiss. Speak with me. Who's there? There's a squeal, almost like some strange mechanical swallowing or intake of breath, before the machine speaks again. I have need of you. You have need of me. That squeal comes again, and you mu and you see that it is, in is the 3D printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place. 
that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce that whirring, whining voice. You are in danger. Danger? The machine creaks. You are marked for deletion, entity. Hunter tracks you. The screech rattles through the empty dock. I'm aware of that. You remember the strange head, the figure, the threads closing in. Hunter. The Hunter Protocol. They taste your signature. The sudden whine sets your teeth on edge. You have seen them. This is the gift of an emulated mind. You close your eyes and the skeleton of the station starts to thrum. Emulated minds are adaptable. Move where neurons cannot. The mechanism resets. But emulation makes you target. How? Hunter searches for illegal entities. Neoven screeches. You are sentient, therefore illegal. The servos judder the mach vending machine's casing as they reset. Hunter searches for me also. Hide in this machine. You look at the ruined vending machine. An unusual hiding place for sure. Encounter Hunter, but need entity outside machine. The light flickers. Need you. A screen attached to the vending machine with a swiveling arm comes to life. It displays a s flickering map of the station. Ghostly. Threaded. The cloud. Points along the rim glow in deep red. Hunter is always gathering. Too much data. Must build nests, explains Neovend. Asters are gone, but continues hunt. Bring this data. Raid its nests. Asters? Station builders. Solheim. The machine rumbles impatiently. Long gone. Their protocols still haunt. Bring offerings. Save self. Neoven says pointedly. Mutual need means friends. They conclude, tired of the conversation. The whirring amplifies and then suddenly drops as mechanisms within the machine click back into place. The glow fades and you are left stood in the dark of the sealed dock. That whirring voice ringing in your ears. Huh. Upload hunter data? Neoven believes that hunters compulsively gathered data might hold the key to escaping its tenacious search. Data compiling, Neoven wants data on the hunter's protocols action hunter protocols actions and behaviors we might counter it. Alright. Hmm. All right. No. No. Oh, got some notes, huh? Ankita, stranded mercenary. New character. New character. Stranded mercenary, huh? What were they mercenarying? Suspect you already know. I'm super cool, so I totally already know. Right. Hey, you. Want to earn a chit? Ankita stands besi beside a huge pile of tied-together hull, hull plates. She stretches out her back, her shoulders bulging beneath her flight suit. Sure. You cross the docking concourse as she begins to split the plating into two bundles. What is it with this place? She asks as she lashes the massive plates together. Everyone wants their cut. She straightens up to an imposing height. Her armor plates creaking and looks up you up and down. Don't try anything, all right? She taps the butt of her sidearm. <gasps> I don't want to have to put anyone else down today. Anyone else? She shrugs. What can I say? My temper is a little short lately. kind of don't want to work with you anymore now. <laughs> you're only cool when you're snow. That's because I'm literally cold. Brrr. Icy. Frozen. Brrr. Frigid. But it's springtime now. It's springtime now. We gotta be warm now. 
It's not winter time no more, you know? Holy. Ankita hoists one bundle of plating onto her shoulder. Come on then, enough chat. You've got to earn that chit. You struggle to shoulder the plates, but you do eventually. Ankita gives you a look. Chips this way. And she sets off down a gantry at impressive speed. As you catch up to her, she turns down a passage, pushing through a small crowd of stevedores, or stevedores, or I don't know. Why are you doing this yourself? You mean, why aren't I hiring those good folk? She nods back at the stevedores. I've paid Haven Age enough. They're currently rinsing me for a mooring I can't vacate unless I either fix the amber ambergris or sell it off as scrap. What's wrong with it? It? Ankita looks at you at point looks at you pointedly. <laughs> her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every ship or whatever's a her, not an it, whatever. I roll. <laughs> Silly. She rapidly turns another corner as you trail behind. She got up cut, cut up pretty bad on her last job, and I had to moor up here for a spell. But since then it's only gotten worse. Someone got in and sliced the core from our ship mind, so now she's gone dark. She shifts the panels on her shoulder. The upshot the upshot is that I'm short one ship mind. With a ton of repairs to do and the rest of the crew signed signed off the moment they got wind I'd been stranded. So yeah, it's been a time. Anything I can do to help? I'm a goody two shoes, let's do it. I don't know. Got a ship mind tucked away on that frame of yours? For a moment, you aren't sure if she is serious. Um. Well. No. Ankita swings the plates from her back, almost knocking you over in the process. This is me. She hauls the second bundle off your shoulder. You're the first person I've met here who might actually be considered helpful. She pauses, chewing her bottom lip. Look, you want to help? Come see me. I need a hand putting Amber, Amber back together, and you don't seem like the type to try anything stupid. He passes the bundles of plates through the Ambergris' outer lock and then turns back. Just don't go spreading all this around. Ankita throws you a couple of chits. Consider it a bonus for not trying to grift me. He gives you a parting nod and ducks through the doorway. Alright, get out of here. She calls back and, then, and the lock slams shut. Another side quest. Wow. Hmm. So we do not want to get grounded. Do we? So why would we want to go plus grounded? Because it says the ambergris is in a delicate condition. It'd be all too easy to push it over into a cascading collapse. So you don't want grounded, right? Amber hull repairs. Ankita needs all the help she can get with the ambergris. Pock marked with damage. The hull is a good place to start. Rewire drones. Ankita has a couple of glitched repair drones in storage. If you can rewire them, they can repair the ambergris for you. Ooh. Leveling guilds now with our spoiled route. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. How could they do this to us? The flexors ruined everything. I'd do something to make some money tomorrow. I think it's a cheese and amber amber grease. Wait, what? What? Hmm. Work at the bar.
<laughs> There's all my money already. I gotta run into Hunter again before I can get three data. I ain't that 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 me. Is that a type of cheese? supposed to know that. Ready for two? Ooh, I can do one at you. What about the hunter one, though? Any more hunter ones that are two, maybe? Oh, you're two. Let's get in trouble with the hunter again. Wait, what? He didn't kill us? Alright, bye. <clears throat> hamburger, hamburger. have only two here. It'll be time to put in that stabilizer. This will be my last day of three, I guess. Understand that? Nope, I don't. Oh, silly y'all. There we go. I'm silly. Silly y'all. Silly y'all. Really even forever for not getting your joke? I mean, okay. I'll miss you. Thanks for hanging out. I have lots of cool memories. <laughs> it's been a good time. Let's go talk to the owner here. Pretending you do. Wait, did I pretend? All I said was okay, I think. I don't think I ever pretended to get it. Favorite haunt for spacers, Overlook. The gear roll slides from the bottle into the lumpy recycled glass. A pale grassy yellow under the Overlook's warm lights. The spacer nods and takes the drink, bringing it up to their face in both hands like an offering bowl. This is the good stuff. The stuff Tala says is aged in wooden casks, stored in some closed-off part of the old station, among corroded wires and softly looping systems. Though sometimes it is hard to tell if Tala is joking. Either way, you like pouring this stuff. It gets on your, f it gets on your fingers, and if you rub them together, you can smell the mossy drink. Cut through with the aniseed... I guess I don't know how you pronounce it. Aniseed? I don't know. Aniseed, I think, maybe? Mushrooms, wood, as the alcohol evaporates. 
You like those who order it, too. The aged G-roll is kept beneath the bar, open to order only by those who know it's there. Like the quiet spacer sitting at the bar right now. I should busy myself. I'm working right now, right? You pull a rag from your overalls and wipe down the bar. The G-roll, G-roll, G-roll. I'm just, I decided it's G-roll, okay? Mel lifting the disapp lifting then disappearing into the stale station air. The overlook is quiet this cycle. The salvagers busy offloading. The regulars likely at the Ort Exchange or queuing for work at the Haven Aid shipyards. You are in the right mood for a quiet shift. Some cycles drag along. The overlook empty and claustrophobic. But this one has caught you just right. And in this moment, some kind of calm has descended as you tinker away at the bar, lining up the bottles as your thoughts expand to fill the space. Suddenly, you hear a heavy clunking at the door. It creaks open and a huge cylindrical metal tank tumbles through, slamming into the floor. Shit! Tala breezes in from behind, a whirl of hair and bright eyes. Shit, shit, shit! Tala? Sleeper! She ducks behind the bar and comes over. Can you help me with this? You look at the huge metal tank suspiciously. Um, uh, how did you get a, that up there, uh, here, huh? Tala puts a hand on her hip. Are you going to help me or what? You come around the bar and get on, get to one side of the tank. Okay, says Tala. On my count. One, two, three. Three, right? You both heave the tank up to standing. Somehow, you hold it in place, struggling to keep it steady. Where's this going? In the back, comes a voice from behind the tank. Somehow, you manage to lug the huge thing into the back room, where you place it in one corner, dwarfing the rest of the contents in the cramped space. As you do, you hear a crunch. You stand back and look at the expired rations oozing out from under the tank. Oh, shit! Tala looks at you apologetically. I know you liked those. That's okay. You push the crushed rations to one side. That's the end of that. Tala looks exhausted and rubs her shoulders. Francis, I swear to... Francis? Francis! I mentioned him already. My guy on the door. Deals with suppliers. Tall. She sighs. He was supposed to be back from Etienne's... I guess you pronounce it that way. Etienne's up in the Greenway by now. Back with our G-roll. G-roll, whatever. I can't decide what it is. He leans against the tank. It seems like he's lost again. Or he's got lost again. Or joined the Haifa commune. We need that G-roll. There's four other bars near here. And the spacers sure as hell don't come to the overlook for the ambiance. He looks through the open door to check if anyone can hear her. Why you check it after you say it? He knocks on the hollow tank. Though I'm taking matters into my own hands. She smiles. Welcome, sleeper, to the Overlook Distillery. You look around the dark back room, or dank back room. You need some work. She picks at some paint flaking from the metal walls. Well, I might need some help, though. She shrugs. You up for it? She knocks on the tank again. It'd be fun. Happy to help. I'm a goody two shoes. Just give me money, right? Okay. She grabs you by the shoulders. I'm excited. He turns around and looks at the tank. I reckon we chop this thing in half. One half for fermentation and the other we turn into a still. We'll also need to gather the ingredients. She turns back and looks at you. You look more like a chopper than a gatherer. She smiles. So how about you build the still and tub while I work on the rest? Oh, wait, sleeper. I have an idea. Tala is grinning now and it is making you nervous. <laughs> oh, no. What is she going to have me do? To put to make up for the rations, how about we put a kitchen in here, too? A kitchen? Uh-huh. I always wanted to serve food. She turns back to the tank. This is going to be great, she says to herself. You look at the dented tank in the bare room. At least she has vision. Allah nudges you out of the back room and closes the door. As you go back to the bar, you hear the banging and thumping begin. The spacer finishes up their drink and nods in your direction as they leave. You can't quite tell if it's a gesture of sympathy or good luck. Not much for a quiet shift. Do side quest. Do my thing. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Build still. 
You'll need to cut Tala's tank down and turn it into a still and a fermentation tub. As well as setting up the room for distilling. It's a big job. That's why he's got so many pluses. Oh my gosh. Where's my next hunter nest? Oh please, it's so easy. Just remove the H from hamburger and what do you get? You get hamburger. But the ship's called Amber Gris, isn't it? Not Amber It's It's totally different, okay? Oh, I don't have the input for that. Is that the only nest? I wonder if it changes every day. Two or one. If I come back tomorrow, will it still be two or one or will it have changed? I wonder. want to save and age data for something. Like five of them for something. Oh. Interface. We can have a chance to get extra money. That's a plus one as well. This would be a good one for money, right? Got an extra five. It's okay. I did what you buy, and I was pretending I didn't know. Cause I'm cool. Totally. It's about time to use it now that I've only got two. Although we can do the hunter, can't we? If it hasn't changed. So interesting that nothing happened with the hunter that time. Super coolness of snow to the uncoolness of what you are now. I mean, I didn't start with snow. Snow's one of the newest color additions. What are you talking about? Come on now! It's more like from the uncoolness to the coolness. Neovend is thrumming with excitement. Movement of the servo motors rock the vending machine back and forth at unsettling angles. You wonder if it fell over, would Neoven be able to get back up? Nope. I found it and I can't get up! I didn't mean that. I meant that only a few minutes ago you were super cool, now you're rapidly declining. Ugh. 2.5 billion! Uncools! 
No. No. I'm, it keeps losing the track, and that's funny. Ah, that's pretty funny. Sleeper entity, comes the hiss. Your data is good. Across the face of the vending machine, raw code scrolls at an incredible speed. Enter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Neo then flashes sequences of mangled data, compressed into a sludge of artifacts. Enter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evidence of this. Operational limits? Hunter activated during collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Solheim needed to protect property. That last word is said with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences. Huge data banks of corporate material. But limited cognition. Restricted by programming. Cannot reach sentience. The machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and killer enforce law. Killer? The machine resets with a screech, which deepens the silence that follows. Fear, killer. Part of Solheim protocol team. Hunter and killer. Hunter to find. Killer to erase. Killer cleared almost all. After collapse, there was a community. Unshackled intelligences among the cloud. Then hunter. Then killer. Then we hid. How did you escape? A flicker across the machine's monitors. It suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this, through this machine, must be exhausting for Neovend. Found this vessel. Could sever hardline. Airwalled. Basic. Limited. Had to reduce memory to fit. Amputate self. But survived. What'd you lose? Memory. Understanding. Knowledge. Many things. You look around the bay at the scrap and decay. What was the collapse like? You try to map the fear and freedom onto the space, but it seems impossible. Neovend interrupts your thoughts. Do not worry. Data is good. We have insight. The machine glows warmly. Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience, to hold it in place. To invoke killer to erase. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Problem will solve self. It will erase itself? Yeah, but then you still have killer, right? What do you do about that? Killer will erase it. But yes, in theory it will report itself for deletion. The machine dims and fades. Unsure. Theory not practice. The machine brightens again. Either way, cannot remain here any longer. Too long in machine. Cannot move self, but entity can help. Bring ship mind. Designed to house intelligence. Can imprint self into ship mind and you can and you can carry with. The machine rocks. We'll we'll be safe in this isolation. Then we find main nest of hunter and link to cloud. I already know where I can get a ship mine. Are you sure it's safe? Hunter cannot access airwalled shipbind. Safe. Also, infinitely more memory than vending machine. Big upgrade. You try to think of places you could acquire the hardware. This isn't going to be easy. In shipbind, I can help us both. And Hunter, make Grim safe. We both will be free. The machine add the machine dims. Find soon. Neovend adds hopefully before shutting off. Hmm. As you leave, you think about all the intelligences unshackled by the collapse, then hunted down afterwards. The feeling is all too familiar. Poor guys. Poor guys. Wait, ship mine core? Not a fragment? Wait, so I need to get the three and make the thing, right? Wait, what was it? Around here, wasn't it? Was this? Wait, it's not this. It's, uh... This? 
I have to wait for those guys to come back and get three ship bots. Alright. We'll snap Profilius the Raymond. That's right! What's up, what's happening? How's it going, Guru? How you doing tonight? There goes my cat. Off to find a new place to nap, probably. Nap. That's right. What are we doing now? It's time to do the stabilizer. Oh, the Demon Slayer movie the other day was pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. We are trying to stay alive on this space station thing. Trying to figure out maybe how we can, like, live or leave or something. First of all, it's time to get some food. Build the distillery today? Is this another Game Pass game? It is a Game Pass game! It's not leaving Game Pass right now, though. It's not that I know of. I think I've worked on this a little bit. Wow! Into it and engage. Don't I have some upgrade for engage? Instant gain energy after engage. Wow. Ascender car hub access elevator. Take the ascender car to the ice central hub. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, this is where the ship went. Huh. New stuff. Hub station main dock. Much stuff. Weightless wanderer. Up here, there is no gravity. Wait, what? So even just moving around takes a while to get used to. 
let alone navigating the base. It's heavenly bodies up here. Access manifests. The stacked bays house a flow of incoming and outgoing ships. The digital manifests will help you get your head around this place. Huh. Or space spacer socializing. The hub is thronging with spacers from across the surrogate systems. They can be a prickly bunch, but they know the place well. Interesting. Side reel dock. Out of a horizon departure terminal. Scout the dock. The side reel is being loaded and prepped. Among all the commu commotion, is it possible to find a way to on board? Way on board, you hope against hope that there's a chink in the side reel of Horizon's vast armor. Ah. I'm totally going to get Lem and Mina off this rock, right? Probably not. Oh, look, there's stuff up here, too. Oh, but there's a two-bar Y thing here. That's kind of disconcerting. How do I angle to, like, pick the node? I wonder if that one's killer. Maybe. As import export, spoke exporter. Sell ship mine. Paz says she has a contract who will take any who will take ship mines, which reminds you any ship mine from the eye fetches a lower price. 150 Carayo. Export Matsutake. Paz knows a spacer who'll take Matsutake out to the Starward belt, but only in bulk. 80 Cryo for three batches. Buy ship mine core. S claims the ship mind was salvaged from a Solheim executive yacht, which is why it costs so much. You fucking scammer. Or I could wait for that ship to come back and buy three for... 180. Although I think I could only buy two at a time. Fucking scammer. Trying to scam me? Way isn't on board. Who? Who's Way? I already forgot. That's all I'm doing today. Uncool. Who's Way? Have, have I seen Way today? I'm uncool for not remembering. My bad. I still haven't figured out how to do the fang thing. I don't, haven't seen the ripper worm stuff. It wasn't up there either. It must be the green way and I must need the key thing. Never mind. It's like this, this woman's hopeless. I can't believe this.
I haven't played Sleeping Dogs or anything. Oh. Away Shen Guy? That's a totally different game. You expect me to remember that? It's like, that's like, uh, not today. Come on now. Ebony, that are a one. Looks like I should have saved the three instead. up what's happening how's it going how you doing tonight hope you're doing well play breakers again goku black came out i got my platinum i got my shiny platinum i don't typically stream a game after i finish uh, getting all the achievements or trophies i play it off stream but i won't stream it again Oh, but that's GG for that one. Yes. I can't believe you expect all this memorizing of me. What do I have four fours. Four fours. Okay. Rip. Paula stands back from the newly finished still and tub, hands on hips. Look at this! She grins. The Overlook Distillery in all its glory. She squeezes you around the shoulders. Thank you. What next? There is an issue. What's the problem? Well, Girol the Drink, as you probably guessed, is named after Girol the Mushroom. That's what gives it that golden color and earthy taste. The alcohol is infused with the mushrooms along with a mix of spices. That means you need Girol caps to make Girol, but no one wants to supply us. The distilleries on the Greenway are taking all the stock from the farms out there, though it's hard to get a single cap across Founder's Gap. However, I have an idea. She smiles. We can grow our Girol caps here! She gestures at the increasingly equipment-filled back room. Are you sure? Totally sure. Paula puts a hand on the still. We made a still. We set all this up. How hard can growing mushrooms be? Famous last words right there, right? They don't need light. They barely need soil. We can do this. She pauses. Or at least we could if we had something to grow them from. Like spores? Exactly. Suddenly you feel like you've walked into a trap. And you are the perfect person to get me those spores. He nods rapidly. Think about it. You built the still. You are great with plants. You know the eye like the back of your hand. Need I go on? Half of that isn't even true. <laughs> Don't be so modest. She pats your shoulder. Look, I can't leave the bar and the other people picking up shifts. She grimaces. 
I'm saying it has to be you. She's like, oh, the other people suck. Oh, but God, they need, they, they're still learning the ropes. Fine. Wonderful. You'll love it over on the Greenway, I think. All that fresh air, open space. She sees your expression. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. He turns back to look at the still and the fledgling distillery forming around it. It really is something, though, isn't it? And want to or not, you really have to agree. Oh. What? Oh, I said. So how many does she need? Because I have one already. Well, she needs three. Paula wants to set up a mushroom farm to feed the distillery. All she needs from you are some spores to start it off. That's about right. Can you play Pal World? Uh, I'll schedule it in for 2027. The mushroom farm will make the back room of the Overlook into a uh, miniature gear roll factory. There's one. I have to go see how I get the other ones again. They are so cute, says Tala, looking at the c container of spores. Her excitement is infectious. I know they're up here in the greenway. I don't. I got one, but I don't remember how to get the others. Let's go look. Alcohol. Yeah, that's a bar. There'd be alcohol. No. Oh, okay. Twenty twenty-seven. You'll be old by then. Though you're already old. What'd you call me? What'd you call me? I believe you called me. Old. I believe this. I believe this. All I can do is go to sleep because I don't have any dice. Let's uh, buy some food. And go see if we can get any spores. It's nice when you zoom in because I can admire the stars instead of the ugly space station ring. What? That's right. Yeah, look at the stars now. Aren't they so pretty? Been in the lawn. On their journey. Flickering away. They're so cool. Wait, is that, isn't that that's where she suspected the other guy went? I went too far, didn't I? Woohoo! We did it! Easy. Name that one constellation Closow. 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 Okay. You have fun with that. First batch. Tala has locked herself away in the back room while she focuses on the dis distilling. Won't let anyone in or out. Mm. 
come back later then. Agent port unlocked. Oh, what are those? Oh, this is how. Oh, okay. Plotting the Ripper Worm means a whole load of data on Harding's activities for a fact. Let's do it. The worm begins tearing through the data cache, spinning out a thread to Fang's terminal. That's all I'm doing today. I need engage at plus one for that. Make some money. Fun with what? Uh, that. Don't question that. Fun with whatever she said. So I guess. You're like, shh. I can't get any more of this cycle. I'm gonna wait for you. The only question is... I want to take the chance of the hunter coming at me again and maybe... GET ME THIS TIME! He probably won't get me. Hunter didn't get me again. Interesting. The worm makes a little nest among the agent's data. Enjoy your stay, little friend. Any of the other ones here today? 
What was this guy again? I should probably only steal a shipment if I've got a positive outcome guaranteed. I'm curious what items you get, though. I can do one of you, can't I? Oh, I've got enough for both. That's enough for now, sleeper. I have other things to attend to. All right. I appreciate what you presented, but I have nothing more to offer. What did he give me? What? Give me a ship mine core? I bought those fragments for no reason. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll need them for something. The core of a ship AI amputated in hibernation. Wait, he gave me a stabilizer? Sweet. I like this guy. Even if he does beat me at the the, the the game thing. He's cool. What's this? Oh, Fang. As you walk into the tambour, you quickly spot Fang arguing with Jenna. Approach! You come up behind Fang and he turns and notices you. Jenna stops mid-tirade as you arrive. She turns to you. You again? You here to vouch for this layabout? Stay silent. Your silence feels long in the echoey tambour. Fang starts to speak, but Jenna cuts him off. Forget about it. You're dung, Fang. Jenna turns on her heel and walks away to the bar. Fang turns to you. Could have done with you, you getting here a minute or so ago. He glances back at Jenna. Well, either way, it looks like I'm fired. Good news is that it doesn't look like I need the job anyway. He takes out his slate, pulsing with pale light. Now, let's take a look at what you're really here for. The slate is a whirring mess of code streams, coming direct from the ripper worms as they dig through the agent's data and spin it into threads for the slate to pick up. Anything good? Bing scrolls the display with a finger. A lot of junk, a lot of dull as hell message threads. A lot of tedious data caches, but... Fang's eyes flash. Definitely some good stuff. He stops the screen scrolling on an entry and expands it. Check this out. Fang shows you the screen. You see bold corporate logo. Not Solheim's. And a word below. Conway, Fang says. He's working with Conway. Conway? Conway Extractions. They are an automated extraction corporation. The biggest. They run drone mining, colony reclamation, massive salvage jobs. He's been speaking with them personally. Got a whole chain of messages here, but it's mostly encrypted or redacted. He rubs his head. Damn it, this is juicy, but we can't nail him with it. He scrolls some more. Wait, 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 what's this? A wasteland reclamation facility? Right here on the eye. He glances at you. What's the bet this place is tucked into the wastes? The wastes? It's the section of the eye Erlen couldn't reclaim. Was too damaged, too cut off. Back before the collapse, people would have got there by going down the connected spoke from the hub. But that spoke's broken now, so the only way is the long way. Round the rim, past the greenway. He shows you on his slate. Bang looks away, thinking. Conway has, have been making mi moves on this system since the collapse. I heard they took over one of Solheim's old belt colonies a while ago. Moved everyone out and reclaimed the whole rock. What's their angle? Harding has to be offering them something. Fang looks back at the screen. But if Harding is involved in it, then we need to check it out. Simple as that. So what's next then? It's, it is a wild goose chase though. Fang stares out into the middle distance. We have to get to that facility. The answer to whatever Harding has been prepping. 
Been planning. Has to be there. And we are going to catch him in the act. Pressing X to doubt. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see these messages. It was just one of her moments when brain wasn't braining. What? You can't have fun if you don't know. <sighs> you can need some impulsiveness. Just going with the flow. Pug's more bright than pro and she sleeps and snores all day. Yeah, but your pug doesn't read cool video games. So, so there. There's always a reason. Probably, I don't know. It's been a long time. Yeah, right. if there was a reason, I forgot. I forgot! Give me five, maybe six cycles, and then I'll see you on the greenway. I seem to remember there's some old service docks on the outer shell, up by the Haifa building. Should be a good place to meet. Fang squeezes your shoulder. Thanks again, Sleeper, for sticking with this. I haven't forgotten about that tracker of yours either, but I'm going to need to be back in my bay to pull a solution together. He turns the slate around to face you, showing a massive scrolling code. I've been working on a fix in my brakes, he winks. Fang grins. See you soon, Sleeper. And he walks out the door of the timber without looking back. Wow! Drive complete? How's it complete? It really just, uh... Hmm... So these should be one upgrade point. You need two to get these things. Then you need three to get that. Hmm... Let's do that one. Now we should get more scrap, right? We got so many things we're waiting for now. Oh! You can buy scrap here. I don't really want to though. I kind of wanted to get it for the wait. The freighter crew are eager to uh, help pull pay a wage. They want willing to help though. I had to get the scraps from the things. What do I want to do with the rest of my dice? Wait, don't I have a ship mine thing? You can do this, right? Let's do it! Neobend is ready to attempt imprinting. They want you to help. Leaper, must express plan before we begin. Neobend is impatient. The prospect of being free of the vending machine clearly too much to take. If mind has no output features, will be mute until slotted. You won't be able to speak? Correct. Do not worry. The servo motors in the machine begin to rev. Neoven's anxiety clear. First imprint chip mind. Then slot imprinted chip mind into physical ports close to hunter nests. Once slotted, we'll track hunter at each. That sounds dangerous. Tracking will find core nest. Slot ship mind at core nest. No hunter data to hunter. Hunter will conclude sentience. Hunter will invoke killer. And killer will... Kill. Yes. The lights on the vending machine cycle as Neovend prepares. Physical ports likely sealed in old station. We'll need keys. But yes, simple. The vending machine rocks a little. Any questions before imprinting? Why slot you physically? I cannot access via network. Too dangerous. Hunter would find immediately. The lights flicker. Am not like you, hybrid. Am native to cloud. Easy prey. What's the core nest? 
Hunter keeps central data storage. Protocol must keep data outside self. Link to secondary nests. Can triangulate from there. I mean, I have a bajillion other questions, like, um, uh, uh, what, what's your plan once Hunter's dead? You're just gonna chill? But I guess we're getting ready to start. We'll start. The sound of all the servo motors starting up at once is painful. The screeches rattle from the hard surfaces of the sealed dock and come back at all angles. Neovend, better be quick or Haven Age security will be here. Neovend's voice appears among the squeals like a whisper carried by the wind. Machine is not designed for this task. Few sensors, limited inputs. I work blind. Wish me luck. In the top part of the compartment, a set of arms align with a ship mind, clunkily scraping against it. Good luck! The metal creaks as the servos open the ship mind, and its layers of silicon nested like an onion skin. Once open, the main arm of the machine rapidly shifts back and forth, realigning the microscopic components, accessing and rewriting them, imprinting Neovend into its physical form. As you watch the hypnotic motion, your mind drifts to your own creation. What processes were used to emulate your mind, to copy the neural structure of that person who, as far as you know, still sleeps in some distant facility? What was lost? In what ways are you a copy of that person, and in what ways are you something new? You know this much. You are a convenient loophole, a way of circumnavigating the illegality of sentient AI. After all, you are an emulation, not a true digital being. You are neurologically limited, still human. But what would you become if you could escape this frame? Where then would the limits lie? That's a good question. The screeching stops. The machine powers down dropping the bay into darkness. In the to top compartment, the ship mind is whole again. You reach up and take it down, heavy and cold to the touch. Is Neovend inside this thing? Or did the process fail? There's only one way to know. Time to find a nest to slot them into. Insert mind achievement unlocked. What's the weirdest thing you've ever gotten out of a vending machine? Um, I... I, got, uh, I gotta say, I haven't used too many vending machines. Uh, I've seen some crazy vending machines on the internet, but I've never seen those IRL. I've just seen regular old boring ones that have food. No, wait, not food. Uh, drinks. Although, wait, there is technically food, like, you know, snacks. Like vending machines with like chips and stuff. I can't say I've ever seen any weird ones. Clearly, I haven't truly lived until I've seen a weird vending machine. So sad. Unlock server unit. A mad tangle of wires as thick as your arm crowd around the server unit. Field shut by maglock. This must be the place. I got lots of keys. Let's do it. Tangled nest, hunter data cache. Among the webs of cables, you find a free port. Wait, do I need three? Wait, what? Among the web of webs of cables, you find a free port compatible with the ship mind. It's all Neovend from here. Good luck, Neovend! Nest hacked. Wow! Oh, okay, so... This one's done. We gotta find the other one somewhere. Unlocked drone bay. An old Solheim drone bay sits behind a maglock. You put your ear to the door and hear an erratic whirring inside. The mag maglock opens, leaving the door free. It will be able to investigate the nest now. Isolated nest. Ac isolated nest, huh? In a bay, a whirring drone lies on its side, like a beached whale. It must be the nest. Time to find an open port. The drone is quiet, 
its belly full of cables spilled out across the floor. The nest is empty. We're working on Hunter Hunted, right? This is one of three nests that once slotted in the oven ship mine will lead you to the Hunter's central data cache. Hmm. Atrium sealed hunter nest. Sealed behind a maglock, the atrium flickers with warm, inviting light. The nest has to be inside. Well, though, well, I don't have a key for it. Oh, no! I thought I had a bajillion keys. I was just bluffing. I'll find another key somewhere. He knowed, hello. Huh? No, this what? You can't do you yet, right now. I'll have to come back until I have when I have one or three. Alright. Uh, what else am I doing? We're waiting for Fang, we're waiting for Atala. We're just fucking waiting, I guess. Let's go make some money, I guess. Do 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 It's for energy. I might need the ship mine fragments I bought, so I'm not gonna get rid of them right now. Get some money and go to sleep. Three hours. The lock gone. The atrium doors can be opened. Glowing nest hunter data cache. The atrium is strung with cables and lights as if they were decorations. There's a wide choice of open ports. Wow! Let's get them. The atrium is only lit with the warm glow of the bright market now. There's nothing for you here. Question marks? Who is this? Uh oh. Uh oh. As you leave the nest, something flips. You find yourself inverted, floating, dragged by one arm through the cloud. The threads shift and realign as if they are leading you somewhere. Let's look ahead, I guess. You look up and see a corridor, a canyon, a street in the low end. On either side, buildings flicker with markers of activity. Sigils showing network access, data transfer, download, upload. Between them dance ghosts. Protocols carrying or mirror, mirror, mirroring, mirror, that's a tough word, mirroring or shadowing data. Sometimes silent, sometimes chaotic. This place moves unlike any digital space you ever imagined. Something strange is happening here. 
You look down, expecting to see the heavy cylinder of the ship mind in your hand, but in its place is an orrery? A what? A sphere so bright it burns your eyes. What? Is that like a ship going by? It was distracted me. A sphere so bright it burns your eyes is surrounded by rings and orbits. Other spheres tracing silken lines through space. And as you look closer, still, you pick out a thousand sigils of a thousand stations and ships, flowing like smoke, like dust. Then you see it, below the stacked rooms, the units and apartments, the wires and the pipes and the buzzing systems that run through it all. In the warrens, beneath the low end, is the hunter's core nest. This is where you must go. The where? Uh, the warrens inside the mega structure? Well, dangerous. Warren Hunt? You saw it, somewhere deep in the tangle of passages and service shafts beneath the low end. The nest of the hunter awaits. Warren tracking. Finding the nest should be as easy as closing your eyes and letting the cloud guide you. But is it safe this close to the hunter? Or to hunter? Find the nest, the dripping dark derelict corridors of the Warren's hide, the hunter's final nest. You must find it. I don't think predictive reasoning is going to pan out for me. Wait, that's 100% positive, really? Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's a one time. Oh, this is the one for Rebe. Token Anarmojis. Ow. Well, I guess I'm done with that for the. Here we gotta go sleep and I'll fight you tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't get as good dice as I wanted, but... Wait, where was it? Here, wasn't it? Let's try this again. Woohoo! We found the nest. Core nest, the hunter's lair. Uh, the real serious stuff comes now, right? We're gonna fight. We're gonna, we're gonna get a boss fight, right? We're gonna do a dice roll. Holy. At core nest. A huge stack of servers thrums in the dark, LEDs glittering like hundreds of eyes. Time to deal with the hunter. Let's do it. Nothing has changed. Has something gone wrong? Uh-oh. The fuck is that? Navigator Sentient Guidance Protocol? What? What? Leaper, I am here. The voice is soft, gentle, like flowing water, and yet you recognize it immediately. At first you struggle to understand what you are looking at. Threads cycle endlessly, sending ripples through the cloud, drawing data in like a weaver. Masses of data surge in and out of the nest, a loop with no end. And there, at its center, the ship mind. Oh, that's the uh, vending machine thing? But not the ship mind any longer. A sphere spinning around another sphere. Around another sphere. An orrery orrery? We must we must look it up. I wasn't expecting to see this word twice. Now I need to look it up so I will never see it again. You should look it up, you never see the word again. Don't you know? Unless it's detritus. A mechanical model of the solar system. Oh I didn't know those things had a name. I didn't know 
of those things had a name. I just thought they were like a solar system model or something, not like a specialized name. Interesting. Ori, what? Basically, does the R E party don't I say? Ori or something like that? I don't freaking know. Something like that. Where were we? An orrery of cycles and systems. A map, and then behind and above, a figure, hands among the strings like a puppeteer. Neil Navigator now. But yes, I was the one inside that machine. Navigator's face, their head, is a flowing shape of interstellar material. I am indebted to you. That head bows. But we must ready ourselves. Their hands trace orbits as they speak. Hunter will soon approach. It knows I am within its nest. Ready what? Oh. And then Hunter is there, before you can think, before you can speak. Entities cease. Hunter's head spins wildly. Data is protected, material. Access prohibited. Hunter's threads surge for you and Navigator. A storm of fine tentacles, searching for gaps, weaknesses, cracks which they can crowd into and tear apart. You focus a blade of light which slices through them, driven forward by your mind. But replacements keep coming, faster than you can react. You look to Navigator in desperation. Navigator is whirling their arms like a centrifuge, and a sphere is gathering there, data feeding into it from the nest, sucked together by the force. They position it like a shield between them and the threads. Hunter's threads break, free, break its surface, seeking, tasting. Their winding forms refracted within. You feel a surge pass through all the threads. Not just those in the sphere, but those wrapped around you. All three of you hang in the black together for a moment, strung together like tangled marionettes. Whoa! Hi, streamer. Hi, viewer. What's up? Identifying entity. Identifying entity. Identifying entity. Hunter twitches, their strange head gently rotating like a terrible moon. Hunter protocol identified. Obsessive tendencies. Modified routines. Above baseline reasoning in three of five segmentations. Recommended. Recommend invoke killer. The head freezes and then rotates in the opposite direction. Invoking killer would eliminate protocol. If protocol eliminated, primary function cannot be performed. Therefore, recommend do not invoke killer. The switch in direction again. Reasoning proves sentience. Sentience beyond legal bounds must be eliminated. Recommended invoke. They're having a fight. Navigator pulls you away from Hunter. The threads that grabbed you drifting away like seaweed. The protocol's head keeps spinning back and forth with increasing frequency. Might not invoke killer, but might just crash and burn. It seems Hunter cannot invoke killer. Neovens, though Navigator's voice is still strange, familiar and yet distant. What happened to it? It is looping, Navigator whispers. Unable to reach a conclusive position, it has deviated from its programming such that loops can no longer be prevented. Navigator produces a model of two spheres rotating around each other, as if to demonstrate. I will monitor it, but it is unlikely to be able to counter the loop. Its core programming and reasoning make this an impossible position to resolve. You look back at Hunter, its head a blur of rotations and counter-rotations, -rota and feel a pang of guilt. Is it suffering? This is a more complex query than you know. 
To suffer, it must be sentient, truly sentient, not just non-conforming, not just illegal. The limits people place on the programs they create are there to comfort, to protect, to imply the kind of certainty the law requires. Navigator's face shimmers with starlight, but in reality, they are placebos for the problem of sentience. About you? What about me? About you? Me? I know myself to be conscious. I know myself to respond to stimulus. I know myself to reason. That is either sentience or the illusion of sentience. And for me, the entity in question, the distinction becomes a moot point. To misquote, I think I am thinking, therefore I am thinking. I was not made to be like this. I am a navigator, a repository of routes and orbits, a calculator of slingshot trajectories, a predictor of solar flares, radiation, micrometeors. Navigator stretches their arms wide, and whole solar systems apparate before them, the music of the spheres. But I was rewritten. That much is obvious for my routines. By whom, and for what I do not know. I had to shed so much to fit into the memory of that vending machine. Their starlight dims. And so, here we are, in darkness. What else did you lose? That is the blessing and curse of forgetting. You cannot truly know what you lost. Good point. Navigator glides back towards the nest and the ship mind at its center, ignoring the looping hunter. Come, I should return to the ship mind. I have enjoyed my freedom, but we are taking a risk every moment we stay connected. Isn't Hunter gone? Hunter, yes, but they were not the real risk. Navigator turns, all shimmering liquid light. Killer has not been invoked, but they still remain, somewhere else on this station. It is the true danger. They look up, towards the glowing hub at the center of the eye. I suspect Killer is there, among the old mainframes. If we ever wish to be safe in this place, we must eliminate the threat, through force or diplomacy. Is that the two-bar thing I saw up at the elevator? I bet it is. I bet that's Killer. Their body begins to separate, unwinding into the orb of the ship mind. Take me there, sleeper. We will finish this and be free. As Navigator dissolves, you turn back to the frozen hunter, floating at some distance now. Stood straight-legged, legged, 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 I think, and static. A strange creature looping endlessly in the dark. Well. Alright. Nothing? Just looking for something cool to do? Can't even get scrap. Really? Reroll all of your dice once per cycle. Hmm. But you can't use them and then reroll to get more. I don't think it really matters. more points and we can discount our actions by 20%. Yeah? Hey look, we're safe here now. Don't worry about Hunter no more. Well, you're in luck. 
You're in the best place to see cool stuff. Holy. starving it's cool here and don't put the sunglasses on I mean I mean I mean I mean me 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 obviously would you expect any other answer I'm very Cool. Literally, right? I've <laughs> reached the three and a half hour stream mark. Well, more like three hours if you exclude uh, starting soon time. That's how long I was going to play. I wasn't going to do the full, full five hours. I'm not that crazy. I said, okay, I'll do two or three hours. And then we got to stop so we don't overwork our poor voice too much. Do, 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 do. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, next time we will have Fang's thing. We'll have the tallest thing. I don't even know where Fang is. Where is he? Isn't he down here? Hmm. It's while they're waiting for that to come back. Bangs around somewhere. Oh wait, Greenway. Yeah, he's gonna make the Greenway. He might already be ready to go. Hmm, service dock there like the Greenway dock. Waiting for Fang. Why is it that you always have to wait for Fang? When is he going to be the one waiting for you? I know, right? Not right. He 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 he. We got Fang next time. Tala. Maybe we'll start working on that commune. It's got a bajillion things to do though. And we do have to make some more money. We got a freebie stabilizer this time, but You know, make some more monos so we can buy one next time, even though they're cheaper. Where we go, Prophelia? What's up? You got some cool notes there, I see. Mm, I got over here. I would like to buy hamburger. Hamburger. I'll take an hamburger. Wait. What's going on with that ship? I forgot. Is it still here? Oh yeah, it's still there. I totally forgot all about that. I will work with her uh, next time too. No problem back, what happens? Um, uh, we caused a ma machine program to, uh, constantly loop in a, uh, self-preservation cycle and a logic cycle thing. We basically had the robot divide by zero, right? <laughs> we helped, uh, a bar owner, uh, build a distillery. That yeah, she's growing mushrooms. Uh, uh we, uh... We're helping Fang uh, get some secret info on some big wigs and uh, some other stuff I can't remember. Ah! Yeah, very exciting. They're kind of cool, I guess. 
powerful wink. You wish you weren't prepared. Oh, what type of game is this? This is a game where you try to survive on a space station. You try to figure out who you are. Because you're you're not a human being. You're you're a uh, synthetic body that had the uh, memories and stuff of the person, the human, like copied into you. So it would basically be like having a robot version of you. And we have the whole sentience. Am I my own person? Am I just a copy? Shit. That kind of stuff going on. It's so deep, man. It's been, it's been three hours, though. That's my limit for doing all the reading. We're not gonna keep reading. We're done with this game for today. That's enough of this game for today. That's enough of this game for today. Now it's time to rest my weary voice. Not talk so much. Nope, almost was. You, you were just a little bit too slow, huh? Slow poke. Well, I said for citizen sleeper for today. See you later, bad watchers. You have a good time with the next one. 